Hi, I'm Dr. Toughness, but I haven't always been a doctor. It's not one of those titles that you're born with, like Lord or Goblin or Goblin Lord. To become a doctor, you have to go through a lengthy process of showing that you have the brain smarts. The first step is getting into a doctoral program, which will be a different video. A bunch of stuff happens in the middle, like taking classes and hand-to-hand -hand combat with the other graduate students, but then comes the final step in graduate school, the capstone project, the PhD thesis. Or at least, that's what I thought the dissertation project was. It's actually a bit more like... <laughs> that's the first thing that you need to know about the PhD thesis. It's not going to be what you think. As you work on it, you're going to feel upset. And I would argue that feeling upset is a rational response. Allow me to explain. I should note that I attended an American PhD program at a large university, so your mileage, or kilometerage, may vary. Let me know in the comments below how it is, or was, different for you. A PhD thesis, or a dissertation as they are sometimes called, is an original project that you create. That project is judged by a group of people with PhDs, usually a group of five professors known as your PhD committee. A PhD dissertation can take a variety of forms depending upon your exact field of study. For example, I am a psychologist, so my dissertation was a research project involving human participants and statistical analyses. If you are going for a history PhD, you'll be writing a lot about history, but with a unique lens of some kind. If you're getting a PhD in journalism, you might do detailed research on how to get a picture of that public menace, Spider-Man! Whatever the specific project is, a few things need to be true about it. These features of the dissertation lead to virtually everyone hating their dissertation project. Number one, significance. It needs to contain some new knowledge that humans didn't have before your project. That sounds like a noble pursuit on paper, pun intended. But even if your dissertation project is judged to be significant by your PhD committee, almost nobody else on the planet or International Space Station will care about your dissertation. Most people won't understand it, and many will think that it's not a good use of time, or money, or brain cells. It's also worth noting that the PhD thesis itself is not peer-reviewed, meaning that other people from your field haven't had a chance to critique it and find its flaws. Therefore, in a lot of cases, it's not even super useful as a reference, unless you publish it elsewhere later on, somewhere that is peer-reviewed. In other words, even the people who care about your dissertation topic are unlikely to care about your dissertation document. This is frustrating. Number two, expertise. It needs to show that you are an expert in your field. That means that not only does your writing have to be correct, but you need to have read widely through all of the stuff that other people have written about your topic. You will be reading books and journals that haven't been checked out in literal decades. They may never be checked out again once you return them, so give them a little smooch before you drop them back in the book return. After reading this massive pile of literature, it is massively unlikely that anyone else will ever care as deeply as you will about your specific topic, or have such a niche understanding of the little details. And because you need to become an expert, you'll realize that your scientific field is built on top of a swamp of bad and incomplete research. It doesn't matter what you study. Once you become an expert, everything that other people have done and are doing will drive you insane. Because you'll realize that scientists don't actually know anything for sure. And the only correct answer to any research question is a shrug emoji. This is frustrating too. Number three, complexity. In order to show new knowledge, like in number one, and to show that you're an expert, like in number two, your PhD thesis document needs to be lengthy, in order to show off the various existing literature in your review, as well as ingenuity and appropriate challenge in the stats analyses and whatnot. 
Your PhD advisor or other PhD committee members will probably ask you to do things that you don't know how to do and that they don't know how to do, and they later forget that they ever said those things. This is pretty frustrating. Number four, finished. It needs to be finished. In other words, you can't take on more than you can handle in the time frame that you have, which is usually around two years. Two years sounds like a long time, but in academia, two years is almost nothing. And once the thesis is finished, it goes into the public record so that people can find and read it if they want to. They won't want to, but they could. If you want to play a fun and dangerous game, walk up to a professor and tell them that you read their PhD thesis and that you had a few constructive thoughts. You could get a variety of reactions, and you may become deceased, which would mean that you don't have to finish your thesis. It's the perfect plan. Taken together, what you will be doing is working very hard on a what? Working extremely hard. <laughs> Taken together, what you will be doing is working extremely hard on a very long document that few people will ever read. And that sucks. Here's a diagram. This circle represents all of human knowledge about your topic. Now let's zoom in. This is your PhD thesis, a tiny little bubble on the surface pushing out slightly into the great unknown. The number of people who care about that teeny tiny bubble is also teeny tiny. But I haven't even gotten to, potentially, the most frustrating part. Number five, bureaucratic rite of passage. Your dissertation will contain many bureaucratic hurdles that'll really make you feel like Spider-Man. Sorry, incompetent. They'll really make you feel incompetent. The entire PhD thesis process is dedicated to showing you how much you still don't know, even after dedicating so much time and effort to knowing things. The bureaucracy is lengthy. You may be asked to write a proposal for your dissertation. That is, come up with your research questions. This may take the form of writing up a literature review and a rough draft of how you're going to apply research techniques. And then, in most cases, you make a little PowerPoint presentation to show to your committee most of whom have not completely read your proposal document. Proposing your dissertation feels like spending months carving an ice sculpture and then standing next to it while a motley crew of blowtorch enthusiasts make some creative adjustments. It's an important step in the process. They often have useful suggestions or find flaws, but it feels bad because it highlights that you don't know a lot of stuff. Later on, after actually doing all of the research and writing and whatnot, you have to defend the dissertation. The dissertation defense makes you feel powerless, because if they really wanted to fail you, they absolutely could by asking impossible questions. They can literally ask you anything, and you're expected to be ready to stand there and answer anything. Therefore, it's actually a rational response for your brain to tell you that you're not ready for the defense, even though you'll almost certainly pass the defense. You could argue that this is a good thing because it kicks your butt into overdrive and makes you hyper-intensively study for the defense, but my point is that it makes you hate the project. My defense went fine. The anxiety leading up to it was way worse than the actual presentation. I got up there, I babbled for two hours while they asked me questions that I tried to answer, and then it was over. And at that point, I was officially Dr. Goblin Lord Toughness. The defense is both an incredibly important part of the process, and also it feels like hazing. Like a formality of bureaucratic paperwork. You came to grad school because you wanted to change the world, or because you wanted a lofty career and the dissertation writing itself doesn't lend itself well to either of those feelings. It's frustrating, and a bit humiliating. There are probably a few people out there who did enjoy writing their dissertation from start to finish, but I don't know any people like that, and I'm glad that I don't because they are almost certainly robot-alien hybrids with either humiliation fetishes or psychotic tendencies, or both. My dissertation was about the literal concept of imagination. I would ask myself while working on it whether studying the topic was a complete waste of time, if the truth was even knowable, and if I instead should be trying to fight global climate change or COVID or something actually useful. 
But in the end, it's not the dissertation that's important. It's your ability to show that you can do all of those skillful things. Read and write and design and communicate and manage your time and navigate crazy bullshit bureaucracy. It's the sum total of your training, but it's not the last thing that you'll ever write. Keep that in mind. You're not crazy to hate the PhD thesis writing process. It means that you're a rational person, because writing a PhD thesis sucks eggs, but you gotta do it if you want the title of doctor. So finish the PhD thesis, put it on your bookshelf, and then go out and actually change the world, or make a bunch of money, or build a secret lab beneath the ocean, or whatever's important to you. And someday, when a graduate student walks up to you and asks how to write a PhD thesis, Try to remember what it was like for you. Or just make a run for it. What are they gonna do, chase you? What do you think? Comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I wish you luck on whatever stage in the graduate school process you are currently in. Or if you've managed to avoid graduate school entirely, congrats on that too. You can pre-order my book in the video description below, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I'll see you next time. Nailed it.